Hello and welcome back to the channel Scene with Chips. Um, if you haven't been here before, please consider subscribing and pressing the bell button so you can see the videos that I've, uh, I've made or I'm going to make throughout the year. Uh, if you have been here before, then welcome back and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the videos I've been making in the past. Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is um, about a shuddering front brake. Uh, on a Harley Davidson, sometimes if you get a shuddering front brake, what could be the problem for that. Just before we get into that, I'd like to give you a little thought. Um, do you think Adam and Eve were the first people that ignored Apple's terms and conditions? <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> watching this because we have the title of it that you've got a pulsating front brake disc now when we say that when you actually slightly apply the brake the front brake by hand you can feel it just pulsing in your hand like a, an heartbeat now everybody sort of goes instantly you've got a bent brake disc a rotor rotor you've got a bent one um, it's not always the case and this is a bit of a common fault on the touring models we've got a CVO on at the minute it's a very common fault and uh, you run it in the dealership and they'll say straight away you've got bent discs and you need new ones and it isn't the case uh, what we've done what we've just done now is we've released the two calipers on this is twin disc uh, twin caliper we've released both of those uh, and we've put the dial gauge on uh, and we've looked at both both discs we've spun it up with no bearing issues and we've no bent discs so then we're thinking what is the problem what we're actually going to endeavor to do today is actually show you what the problem is um obviously in the uk you're not running your bike every single day you come out of winter and now all of a sudden you've got this problem um we're hoping it, it'll do it again for us because we've actually diagnosed the bike already but what we've done is we've pushed the pushed the two uh, brake pads back and we're going to actually show you what happens uh, if steve applies the brake now can you actually see now that it's only come out on one piston which it which means that this this piston here these two are seized they've seized up um it's a very very common fault on on it's not so common on the sportster but anything else it's common on where it's where it stood around for a while if you've got this problem if you've got this pulsating problem look at this first so uh, the easy re uh, fix for this and uh, it doesn't always work and it actually won't work on this one we've we've looked at the other caliper is to remove the discs and then push the uh, it put some releasing fluid on on the pads on the disc pistons and then push them in and out and keep pushing them back and sometimes you can be really lucky and uh, they'll all start working again uh, on this particular case we're actually going to put a rebuild kit you can get a rebuild kit you pop the pistons out put new pistons in it uh, new fluid um, and then that hopefully will fix your fix your problem one, one thing to watch as well uh, is an aftermarket pad if they don't quite fit right and they're very very tight they won't slide very easily and also if somebody's been messing you have your spring rattle plate on the bottom i've seen that on soft tails they put it in wrong and bent the bent the plate as well at the bottom so look for that if you've got the problem as well hope that helps you <laughs> 